All right, shalom, shalom. Pastor Corey here uh, of the Straightway Ministries here in Straightway, Kansas City, coming to you all uh, with a great, great, uh, blessed Sabbath. Today we had a good time in the Most High, y'all. And, um, you know, just enjoying what the Most High does and in value of what we all believe, you know, in, in receiving our Messiah, Jesus Yahshua, we always have an expectation that he would come in and the word would continue to live and do what it says that it would do. So with that being said, today, you know, we was having a really, really good discussion concerning us, concerning restoration, concerning the power of the Most High Yah. And at the end, uh, I was praying that the Most High would just come in, that he would loose healing angels to come in and begin to lay hands on us, that they would begin to restore us where we needed restoration. And so with that, you know, we begin to rejoice. We begin to cry out and uh, stretch forth hands towards heaven. And I tell you what, you know, at the end, we had a great rejoicing. And uh, I'm going to go out to Sister Jasmine, and we're going to begin to share what happened today in her testimony. Now, Sister Jasmine, you were downstairs while we prayed today. And um, were you rejoicing with us today? Yes, sir. All right. And as I began to go upstairs, I heard you say that you received a healing today. Yes, sir. All right. So I want you to look right in that little bitty camera right there, <laughs> and I want you to tell... The saying to the Most High Yah, uh, what you experienced today? Okay, yes, sir. Hallelujah. Um, so, since we've been working out, um, I started having pains in my legs, my feet, and my right knee, and I just been pressing through. Not, you know, not complaining about it, but just, you know, asking the Father to heal it. And in my mind, I just attributed it to Satan trying to hinder me from going forth and getting this weight off of me because I know that's what the Father desires of me is for my temple to be acceptable for him to continue to dwell in. And yes, yeah, so I've been dealing with this pain for months now in my knee, just sitting. My knee would hurt. My feet would hurt if I had, if I was sitting too long. Um, or if I would get up, my, it would like take me a second to walk normal. And so as we were praying and rejoicing, I was just in agreement with what Pastor was praying. You know, asking the Father to lose his heavenly angels to minister healing to the saints. And I'm standing there and I'm not jumping. I'm not, I'm just standing there. And my knee just, it pops very abnormally. It pops. I feel like somebody probably could have heard it. It popped so loud and hard. But when it finished popping, all the pain was left from out my knee. And then I noticed that my feet weren't hurting. My feet weren't hurting anymore as I was standing there. Thank you, Jesus. And so in my praise, and I was like, okay, I don't know what just happened, but let me see. Let me just try it out. So I started squatting while I'm praising. I'm like, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just like bending my knees and jumping up and down a few mm. times. And I'm like, okay, hallelujah. All right. Jesus. And so I'm just like, oh man, let me go tell pastor, man, he ain't gonna believe this. Well, you gonna believe it. I know. <laughs> hallelujah. But I was just like, thank you, Jesus. Cause I had literally just spoke to a sister and told her, I said, okay, well, this, this, if this is my thorn in my side to just keep me to be a reminder, you know, to keep pressing in, to keep striving, no matter the circumstance, then hallelujah. I'm just taking, I'm going to keep on because pastor don't be working us out easy, but <laughs> I'll be sticking in there. So hallelujah. 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 So that, that's, that's more testimony hallelujah. to what is going on here, you know, and, and I, I want to say this because oftentimes we get attacked by people that want us to quit using the name of Jesus. We understand trans literation versus translation and if you understand that then you know another language you know tries to use the letters that they have 
to match and mimic the sounds of the language in which the word is being translated from or, or, or you know transliterated and so when you look up We've had healing go on here for a few weeks now. You know, people being healed. People are telling their, their experience. And, you know, it, 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 it's still in the name of Jesus. And let me ask you this, Sister Jasmine. Because you said you was just standing over there. Was you thinking about your knee being healed when you was just over there? Or you was just in the prayer? I was just in the prayer. Just in agreement, touching and agreeing, giving worship and praise to the Father. I was actually you started praying about healing. I'm just thinking about my brothers and sisters. I was thinking about somebody else being healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Give them their healing if they oh, didn't say man, that, when, I, when I seen you come over to the door before I went upstairs, I rejoiced with you, sister, because Hallelujah. I know what it feel like when, you know, a thing that you don't know when healing coming in. You don't know if it's going to be you. And sometimes Satan try to minister to you that you're not going to be healed. You, you, healing is not real. Even though you see it with your eyes, mm -hmm. Satan try to minister. Healing is not real. That thought, that inclination trying to enter into your mind and, and control your mind state where your faith gets swallowed up. But it's, it's this. It's right here where you in the presence of Yah is moving, um, and, and people are, are being healed, man. You know, we we just you know are, are seeing the presence of Yah get stronger and stronger and stronger. We we're looking for you know we we are looking for Yah to come in and do what the Word says because we receive what the Word says. We don't have no thing where we are buying into. The wickedness and the ways of the world where they're getting ready to steal us out of our hands here in this last time. And because people are going to see, people are going to need the real Hebrew Israelite nation that this is your promise. They're going to need you in the last day because guess what? It says that they're going to, the people are going to look around and they're going to grab a hold of one of the sons of Jacob. In that time where it's going to be highly, highly imperative that they do so. Because those times are coming. And guess what? We, we know who we are. We are here doing the work of righteousness. And not only that, but we're pressing forward. And, man, I tell you, I'm, I'm happy. I'm rejoicing with you, sister. I praise y'all that you got healed today. I praise y'all that you were standing there. That he didn't have to come in on you. I, I praise y'all that he blew in quickly. Yeah. And your knee popped. And <laughs> you like, wait a minute. Yep. You know, that that's what it is. And it just, I heard you over there rejoicing. Hallelujah. During the prayer. I was just like, man, people are, man, we, we grabbing a hold of this thing. Hallelujah. So it's a blessing. Israel, be healed today. Be healed Jesus in name. Jesus' name. <laughs> you know, Yahshua the Hamashiach, whom was born of the tribe of Judah has clearly stated that he was going to send a comforter. And the word says, after you receive that of the Holy Spirit, you shall receive power. I, I, I charge you and I bid you, Israel, to move in the power of the Holy Spirit and heal the brothers and sisters to take forth the testimony of Yahshua HaMashiach that we all know and that we have this light to gravitate towards in this dark, dark, and ever-changing, wicked world. Hey, you all be blessed on the rest of your Sabbath. I'm Pastor Corey. This is Sister Jasmine. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.